In this class, we are going to learn how to customize the message. What you see on the left pane of this page, that is in the next gen supplier registration Redwood Fusion page. When the user clicks on the create supplier or self service registration link, then they would be routed to this page wherein they will see the message. Now we will see how we can customize this and how we can leverage the components in Visual Builder and add the messages as per the business unit or based on some condition. I have considered the application which we have modified till now that is for the next gen supplier registration. First and the foremost thing is you have to locate where is this verification page. So this is the starting page when the user clicks on self-service registration portal. Coming to the supplier registration, there is this page under the register supplier with the name register hyphen supplier hyphen verification. Just click on this. If you look at this page, here there are few areas which Oracle will allow for the developers to customize it. First and the foremost thing is you have to ship the mode to advance over here, not the express. Next, when you click on this page and if you hover over here, these areas are not customizable. But you hover on the left region over here. So this area is allowed to be customized in this page. Alternatively, you can also have a look at the structure. Here you will see all the components which are available for customization in this page. Currently there is only this rule set over here which is allowed to customize. Either we click on the structure or we can click on the region over here in the page that is in the design mode. By default there is this section created over here. So this looks to be a dynamic container over here and there is a section with the help of which the UI is rendered that is to show the heading something like supply registration and there is a form or the paragraph over here and followed by the terms and condition which is a hyperlink. So these are the components which are involved in designing this layout. If you want to look at the layout you can just click on the left region. Here Oracle has hidden the details that is from weaving what they have used in this template. Let me just come back to my page by clicking on this return to page. Now what we can do is we can define our own section that is click on this plus section and I will tell I want to create some message over here saying welcome message click on ok so you can create multiple sections suppose if you want to show the section based on some business unit you can create multiple sections then based on the condition you can select which section you have to show I will come to that point shortly once you have created the section just click on this here you will get a template wherein you can drop the components in the page. What I will do is first of all I will drop the grid container in my page over here. Then next followed by that I will add one heading. Instead of supplier registration I will tell. Select the heading. Welcome to supplier register application something like this. Application. Register, there is a spelling mistake. Let me just select the proper one. Just above, so you will see the message over here. Now let's go back to our page and see how it will look like in action. As of now, it's not reflecting because we have just created a section but we have not attached over here. I will go to the extension or just click on this left area. Click on the extension over here and we have to select edit the rule. By default, the rule which is created over here, the rule set or the layout that we cannot modify, we have to override it. Click on this edit. Here what we can do is, this is a read only case. We can create our own case that is the extension rule. Click on the plus rule and I will tell this as a welcome custom message something like this. Click on create. Here we can write the condition. Click on plus and based on what condition you want to add over here you can select. Suppose you are having some specific field based on the logged in user, screen size, user ID or based on the constants which are available over here. Based on that, if you want to render that particular layout, then you can select from here. For simplicity purpose, I will just delete this condition. I am most interested in the section which has to be shown in this rule when it's satisfied. Suppose if you want to show based on the any condition, you can add the condition over here. Based on the requirement what we have in your project. So in my case, what I will tell, I want to show this section. You can show multiple sections as well like this. In my case, I want to just show my section which I have created with the name welcome message. I will go back to my page that's over here click on this or you can just click on this close x mark here if you see we are seeing the message which we have created in our section that is in the layout we had dropped the grid container within that we had dropped the heading now let's customize this further I will click on the region and I will go over to the section and click on welcome message 
So we have a welcome message. Suppose you want to provide some paragraph saying some instruction how to register the application or something, edit process, something you want to show. Then you can put the paragraph over here. Now here I will put some dummy message. This is a dummy message which I am writing for demonstrating how to customize the welcome message in the supplier registration portal. This is just a dummy message. Click on save. So as soon as you tab out, you will see the message over here. You can style your page by going to the grid container and switch over to the flex over here. So that you can see the paragraph over here. Alternatively, instead of paragraph, if you want to use the highlighted text or if you want to add any CSS over here like the typography, then you can add like this. So it can add the CSS on this as well. Next, if you want to add some hyperlink which can navigate the user for some page like the SharePoint or the OneDrive, Google Drive, something, you can put the link over here and you can provide the URL over here. For simplicity purpose, I will tell terms and condition for US region. Something like this based on some condition. If you have written a section, then as per that, you can provide the link over here. Let me go back to the main page. So this is how you can customize the page over here. We can have n number of sections over here and you can customize the layout. You can just go to the rule over here. That is by clicking on this edit and you can customize the section based on the rule. We can have n number of rules based on the satisfied condition. It will be rendered on the page. Let me just click on this X. Let me just preview this application. When rendered, it will look something like this. So sky is the only limit on the customization what you can do on this left region. So you can have any kind of message displayed over here based on the components, whatever is available over here in the visual builder. Suppose if you want to publish these changes, just click on this publish like how we have published our previous changes.